I'm Jorge Ribas, and you're wondering. So here's a list of animals that have been cloned. Not on that list, humans, yet. So, so just, just, so, so just, just sorry, you go. So just how important is cloning technology? And should we be worried about evil clone armies in the future? Cloning is played a role far larger than I think it's likely to play in the future of science and medicine. The money, the ability to do something useful with cloning is probably over on the research side of cloning, not on the reproductive. That means cloning to create stem cells that can grow into replacement organs. And while that's pretty cool, science fiction likes to take it one step further. I think Hollywood is absolutely in love with the idea of human cloning. They can sort of use it as the archetypical villain. Cloning fears play on a couple of things. They sort of challenge our notion of uniqueness and individuality. They also sort of raise the issue of, uh, well, how much of who we are can be duplicated or replicated or manufactured. Like TVs or alarm clocks or cell phones or Pop-Tarts. Hey, look what I found. But even if a clone person was created, that doesn't mean it would be an exact copy of the original. We're not merely the kind of automatic readout of our genes. We should think of the, our genome as a kind of diary, but not a diary that has been written upon yet. Which means that you, version 2.0, would have a very different set of experiences than the original you. Why are you dressed like that? I was at the pirate bar. They made me an honorary pirate. Arr, is this thing still rolling? Where are you going? While some groups claim to have cloned human embryos or even delivered an actual cloned baby, there's no proof of it. So any effort to try to make a baby by cloning, given the very, very high probability that the baby's going to be seriously abnormal, is just completely morally unjustifiable. Both Murray and Kaplan support a ban on cloning for reproductive means, but neither think that ban should extend to stem cell research. So is there any chance we'll actually see a human version of Dolly the Sheep? We're going to have to prove that it can really be developed safely uh, without death and deformity in animals. If that happens, then we might see someone try to clone a human being for, you know, to have an offspring in 30 or 40 years. Even then, Kaplan sees reproductive human cloning as a red herring for more pressing bioethical questions on the horizon. I think what we need to be worried about is efforts to improve, enhance, and optimize human beings, either by putting technology into them or by changing their genetic makeup. I think we have much more to worry about with cyborgs than I do clones. Oh great, so instead of huge evil clone armies to deal with, we'll just have to worry about cyborgs.